solving areas of rectangles and squares. Area is a measurement of a surface. Surface area is measured by equal square units. These are the common square units. Note, the answer to any area problem must always include the word square. In other words, square inches, square feet, square millimeters. Example one, how many square inches are in a rectangle that measures two by three inches? This model represents a rectangle. Its length is three inches. Its width is two inches. We know that each box is one inch square, one square inch. Now let's add our representation of the inches. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can see that this would represent a rectangle with six square inches. Solution two would be to use our formula. To find the area of a rectangle, we multiply the length times the width. So we know the area of this rectangle is three inches by two inches. So let's use our arithmetic multiplication. The area in this case would be three times two, which is six. So the area of this rectangle then is six square inches. Example two, how many square feet of tile are needed for a square room where its sides measure 10 feet in length? Well, here we have a representation of that room we know that the length of one side is 10 feet. So we also know that our formula in finding the area of a square is A for area is equal to the length of one side squared or to the second power, same thing. So let's just plug in the numbers that we know. The area would be equal to the length of one side, which is 10 feet squared to the second power. This is the same as the area is equal to 10 times 10, or 10 to the second power. And just to continue with this, the area is equal to 10 times 10 is 100. So we know the area of a room whose length of one side is 10 feet would be equal to 100 square feet, in this case, 100 square feet of tile would be needed to cover this room. This sheetrock measures 12 feet. By four feet. There are 34 pieces of sheetrock in this stack. How many square feet of sheetrock are in this total stack? Let's do the math. The sheetrock measures 4 feet by 12. And there's 34 pieces in that bundle that you saw in the video. So the question is, how many square feet will 34 pieces of sheetrock cover? So we got to use the area formula. A equals L times W, length times the width, so it's area equals 4 times 12 feet. So area equals 48 square feet. And that's one piece. And so we have to multiply then 48 by 34. So just clear the calculator. So it's 34 times 48 equals, and the answer is 1,632. So the area it will cover then is 1,632 square feet. So that bundle of sheetrock that you've seen in that picture will cover 
1,632 square feet. The walls in the background are prefabricated concrete tilt walls for a college building. They built the walls off-site, and then they hauled the walls and put them up. If the walls are 8 feet wide, 52 feet tall, and 14 inches thick, how many cubic yards of concrete is needed for 48 walls? Let's figure out this problem. The concrete tilt walls are 8 feet by 52 feet by 14 inches, and the question is, how much concrete is needed for 48 walls? And you can just imagine, this, these walls are built off-site, and they haul them to this site. You can imagine, they can't be, well, oh, well I made a little mistake here. The, you know, when you're tilting those walls up, they better fit, otherwise you're not, be, you're not going to be having a job, so you've got to know your math. But volume equals length times width times height. Now we have a problem here. This is feet, 8 feet, this is 52 feet, and this is 14 inches. Now we either can make them all inches or all feet, but since we have 2 feet, we'll make 14 inches into feet. And so we go to the calculator, and so it'll be 14 divided by 12 equals, so 14 inches equals 1.166666. We'll just leave that in. We could round it. But we'll leave that in there. Now we could use that formula. The length times the width times the height. Now we're going to leave the height in there, so it doesn't make any difference in multiplication which one you do first. So times that by 8, and then we times that by 52 equals. So it's 485.333, right? Cubic feet. And that's what this is going to be. This is going to equal cubic feet, this answer. Now we know that there's for 48 walls. So we have to multiply that by 48 times 48 equals. And so that's 23,295 or 96 cubic feet. Now we want to know how much concrete is needed and it's usually always done in yards. They always measure concrete in yards, and remember? A cubic yard measures, I'll draw a box here first, that's 3 foot by 3 foot by 3 foot. So that's a cubic yard. And that equals 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 cubic feet equals 1 cubic yard. And so all, all we have to do now is divide that number by 27. Divide by 27 equals, to build those 48 tilt walls, they need 863 cubic yards of concrete. Now you can see where knowing your geometry and knowing your formulas and making sure you convert like this inches into feet, you're able to solve problems like this. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.